everybody to their various homes and their various destinations in peace. We pray committing the lives of each and everyone here present with you. In the name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Right, for the benefit of our SSS, we want to use the English language as a medium of communication here. Okay, so we have in our midst our Honorable Assembly members from Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. Can you give us a wave, Honorable Assembly members? We also have our presiding member, Honorable Stephen Ofori. We have a MCE for Ofori from Honorable Gloria Tima Gambra. Thank you, Madam. We have Professor Ivo Ajiman here. We have Mr. Mark Okrebu Mante, President, Creative Arts Council. We have Madam Jane Edna Nyame, National Commission on Culture, Executive Director. Thank you for coming, Madam. We have in our midst senior journalists across the Kumasi city. Can you please give us a wave? All media present here. Thank you very much. We have our coordinating director in the person of Mr. Epiamwa Watson. We have the director for Center for National Culture, very much assuming you said. We have heads of department from Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly also here. Please give us a wave. We have the MCE for Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly, the person of Honorable Osei, SDA, NG. We also have the Minister for Tourism, Honorable Barbara Otin, JC. We have back for a day for two, Chiche, or two for Ananta Henning. We have back for a day, Kessy, the four, a doom Henning. We also have a chairman for the occasion representing the two for in the person of Ohineba Ousu, FBA, the four. He's also an honorable member of the house. Shall we give a round of applause to all of us? So we gather here in the name of Kumasi to see the developments and the welfare of Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. And as we've all gathered here, we need the chairman to respond to us, whether he accepts to be the chairman of this occasion. So permit me to kindly ask the chairman if he so accepts to be the chairman for this occasion.
serve the local community so that it becomes a useful edifice that will be patronized by all. And so it, with, with a, a huge heart that His Majesty will do for as our sign and I'm here to come and witness this signing agreement. And we pray that during the duration of the contract, uh, there will be no cost overruns and uh, delays and abandoning of projects as some projects do, do happen. So we, we back this project fully and pray that it shall come to uh, a fruitful end. So those are opening remarks and we will hear from the dignitaries here that Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our foreigners or our friends? Honorable Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Nana Chairman, Nana Nung, Honorable Timakandra, MCE of Rikrum, Professor Ivo Adimendia, the Executive Director, National Commission on Culture, Presiding Member of KME, all authority members of KME. Metropolitan Coordinating Director, Heads of Department, President Creative Arts, the Triple Mountain, the media, ladies and gentlemen. I deem it a great duty to welcome you to the official signing of the Memorandum of Understanding for the construction of Conference Center Project in Kumasi. I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, and Creative Arts for selecting Kumasi for this project. I want to assure you that it is the best decision you have taken, and we therefore promise our unflinching support and cooperation to ensure the success of this venture. The utmost credit also goes to Otunfo or say to do the second, they are Santegini, for providing required land for this project. Ladies and gentlemen, as you undoubtedly know, Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly is the seat of Asante Kingdom, and as such is recognized as an important center for tourism, culture, and tradition, which makes the metropolis, metropolis, a vibrant tourist of destination in Ashanti region. Kumasi is noted for its wealth in culture, tradition, and commerce. But this city, Kumasi, has been fundamentally challenged in tourism. Especially when we talk about tourism-related infrastructure. The construction of this edifice is therefore a timely solution to the challenge of providing suitable infrastructure to market Kumasi as the capital of Ashanti region and the second largest city in Ghana. This project will not only serve as an alternative to the Accra International Conference Center, but provide a solid foundation for the economic and social development of the country, as well as the development of the region and the city at large. It is a known fact that the construction of a conference center has been a long cherished dream of the people of this city. And I'm happy that the signing of this MOU today will culminate in the realization of this dream. This document will no doubt empower the financiers to secure the necessary funding for the project. As city authorities, 
our ultimate vision is to make Kumasi a safe city and an investment destination for both local and international investors. For both local and international investors, and in this regard, I will once again pledge our support and cooperation for the actualization of this project in Kumasi. The late Dr. Bam Nkrumah saw the vision years ago. That is why we talk about Center for National Culture and it is found in Kumasi. He at that time did realize that if you talk about culture, then where you can get a lot of things to showcase is that of the Ashanti Kingdom, a kingdom that is older than the whole country itself. As you are all aware, the kingdom is more than 340 years old. And as such, if you actually want to push the nation forward, one area that we can all use as a full factor is the creation of more museum. And Kumasi, by its rich tradition and culture, can have more than 10 museums in Kumasi, and we can have a lot of edifices to, to fit all the museums. The assembly also seeks to undertake the construction of Kumasi Cultural Museum to serve as the one-stop display point for all the cultural artifacts and regalia, architectural designs, and a concept paper are already prepared and available for any interested investors. I will therefore crave the assistance of the Honorable Minister of Tourism to assist us find investors to undertake the museum project as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I will on this note welcome you all to this very important signing moment. And we solicit the prayers and assistance of everybody here to make sure the project is realized. And we also want to draw on the attention of the investors that our patients will be running out if you don't start it on time, because it's a project that we are hungry for, for years. So once you are lucky and you have been selected, we pray that you fast track everything to make it possible for our dream to come true within the shortest time. Thank you all. Good afternoon, media guys. Please allow me to show the PPT for the conference center for you. Okay. Okay, we will establish a conceptual design for the conference center project in Kumasi. Uh, for this project, we have three parts. The, the first one is a, a brief introduction for our great nation, Ghana. This is the main uh, structure for this uh, great uh, conference center. The seat for the audi main auditorium is around 2,000 seats. And uh, the multi purpose hall for 600 people. And uh, this conference center uh, also includes some uh, in uh, entrance foyer to form an open exhibition area. And uh, there, they also have some adjustable partition plate to uh, to adjust the area for the conference hall, and uh, uh, we have some uh, VIP lounge, even board. Or Nana Chairman, Honorable Osaya Tibetinchi, the Mayor of Kumasi, Nana Nom, my executives from the Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture, and the Creative Arts Council. Our members present from our creative industry, the practitioners here present, our media, ladies and gentlemen. 
I believe we are all excited to be here today um, to witness the signing of this memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Tourism and the China Bengbu International Technology and Economic Corporation for the construction of a theater and conference center in Kumasi. This ultra-modern theater is designed for large conferences, drama, music performances, and as well as modern dance. The theater, as we have been told, will have 2,000 seats in the main auditorium. There will also be a hall to seat about 600 persons to meet specially tailored conferences and meetings. And it will also combine with the entrance of the foyer to form an open exhibition space to cater for various exhibitions to be held in that theater. And goes without saying, it will also have very nice catering facilities where we can enjoy something to eat. This theater, when completed, will not only add to the architectural and cultural skyline of Kumasi, but it will also bring new energies into the arts and culture space in and around Kumasi, such as the commercial, economic, and social energies to be drawn from the many events that it will host. There will be jobs created, increase in business and events, and tourism, as well as the spillover effects on ancillary arts and culture space in Kumasi and the Ashanti region in general. The 2020 Global Peace Index report has ranked Ghana as the most peaceful country in the West African sub-region and third on the continent. This enviable position has great marketing potential for especially the creative arts sector in the country, as well as for meetings and conferences in particular. Currently, our mice position um, needs significant improvement. We attract a lot of international conferences, but we can do better to generate more benefits from it. And we believe that with such infrastructure, we are on our way to attracting even bigger international conferences. In building on our minds, the creative arts sector in Africa can trigger a value chain between artists, entrepreneurs, distributors, and support services across multiple sectors to provide employment. The African report in 2020 indicated that the creative arts sector generates about 4.2 billion US dollars in revenue across the continent. African countries have therefore gradually been recognizing the importance of the creative arts sector as an instrument of achieving broader developmental goals. In Ghana, the development of the creative arts sector is integrated in the poverty reduction strategies with particular focus on the development and promotion of music and film. Indeed, towards positioning the creative arts sector to boost Africa's economic growth through tourism, two-thirds of African countries have signed the Convention on the Promotion and Protection of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions. It is therefore important to improve and also provide the requisite infrastructure as theaters, conference centers across strategic locations in the country. The commitment by government is to increase the country's unique selling proposition in the creative arts sector. And this is manifest in the announced support to the creative arts sector and the tourism to the creative arts sector by government in the revised budget in the amounts of 50 million Ghana cities, as well as through the Tourism Development Project Fund. And this is to ensure that the creative arts sector survives during this difficult COVID period and bounces back to contribute to national development post-COVID-19. May I also emphasize that the promotion of the creative arts sector, MICE, 
occupies a special space in the endeavor of the ministry. And we will continue with this vision of harnessing the great opportunity it offers for national development. His Excellency, Nana Dodangwa Ekufwadu, and his government seeks to explore the comparative advantages and potential of all the regions of the country to enable the diversification, expansion, and full integration of tourism, arts, and culture industries into a modern economy. Undoubtedly, Kumasi, and for that matter, the Ashanti region, holds an important and enviable space in African history, arts, and culture. Despite the aggressive tendencies in globalization to homogenize cultures, the Ashanti region continues to appeal to visitors both locally and internationally because they have protected their culture. And this seeks for, um, for those who seek authentic African cultural experience will always come to Ashanti region. Indeed, the rich culture and the creativity of African people are evident for all to see in the Ashanti region. As a ministry, therefore, knowing the importance of the Ashanti region and what it can contribute to tourism, we are undertaking a study of the tourism potentials in the northern sector. And Kumasi and its environs remain a cardinal focus in this endeavor. This will cover plans to develop Lake Bosumtri, which is the largest natural lake in West Africa, into a flagship tourist destination in the Ashanti region and Ghana. Our resplendent Kente from Bonri, Ntonso, and Adamuase epitomizes the very soul of creativity of the Ashanti region, and for that matter, Ghana. Kente has become an irrefutable global symbol of African creativity, uniqueness, and identity. I am therefore happy to mention that there will be a sword cutting for the expansion of works at the Bonre Kente Weaving Village very soon. This project, when fully completed, will position Bonre Kente Weaving Village as an attractive destination for tourists and for commerce. This opportunity for cultural goods in the global market is enormous. In 2019, the African report indicated that Africa's cultural goods sector employed about half a million people and generated 4.2 billion in revenue. The Ashanti region has a comparative advantage in cultural goods in the country, and we remain resolute in our endeavor to provide the right interventions to help us position ourselves competitively in the global cultural goods market. Tourism development in Kumasi, and for that matter, the Ashanti region, is going to be a concerted effort between states, parastatal agencies, working in tandem with the private sector, as we are witnessing today, the collaboration between the ministry and the China Bengu International Company to lead communities in realizing the set objectives of the industry. I'm also happy to know that the innovative and revolutionary phenomenon that fuses Ghanaian culture with digital technology and further emphasizes the importance of arts and culture in the promotion and development of a country is also very evident in our Kumawood movie industry. Using low budget, record-breaking production time and consistency Kumawood has drawn a lot of attention from the global and regional film industries and has promoted Ghana very well. Government recognizes the extraordinary achievements of the Kumawood movie industry and sees the industry as a major cultural and economic tool that can be harnessed to promote our film industry to make Ghana the regional hub for film production.
the Creative Arts Bill, when passed into law, will be one of the major steps towards helping and creating the enabling environment for the Kumawood movie industry, as well as the National Film Authority, which is currently operational and working very hard to support the movie industry. And we believe that through these strategic actions, we can develop our movie industry to wrap shoulders with the likes of Nollywood, Hollywood, and Bollywood. For our assistance from the Ministry of Tourism to be able to do more and to attract more. So I guess the video itself is from entry area Z. So this video is an appeal to the minister and her interest from Accra that they should pay a particular attention to the video and use it to services for funds, investment, to do more for us. And so those of us here, I think we can have our voice and beckon, madam, that must need more and more of such projects to come to us. This is about to come, that is the fifteen. be able to get us more. We are hoping to get two, three of this information and three leave the name a tourism city for she has promised us for First of all, <laughs> Na ministry no so we hun se se dia kuma se e dia kutre e wo ye culture no no em eh se ye tumi boa na ye pedia infrastructure wo ho a e be support em sa ye culture yi en kan kan e ye ye kente obi ani se dia kente e som bo e ma ye a san so aji be bia se se a wo kwa ma no ni a bibi ni bia o fe se o hun ye hun ni se o ye bibi ni no o di kente e na o di ye na shen so die just say we be near we are African American and now we are Caribbean and now whichever who are manoni. Now per se who say we be new co baby, we be be ni be mu and a woo fria. We won't say maybe I can take stool and I can take vest and I be be a can take womb. Now or mood ya she in say say and see to me shake and tell you mood now. In see ye my what am I born we be a ye can tell you be pijam ye be munia wow ma and also a bay tourist center. Obi wa manoni. But to me talk and say no eshe. And so now unim said yeah yeah no baby. Oba Ghana ni e de nuko bo uya. 
history even more proud of the kente fabric in this age me dey no so e cost dey nim so say em busum tree leg busum tree e wo ha eh eh the largest man made leg e wo immense potential for tourism eh say e to me here infrastructure be along the lake e no so e be pega em leg no potential ama tourism in say no so e go so eh eh no so e ho hihye in say e nyoma we nyina ye nim say say e ha na say a e be boa e ma tourism e pega tourism pega so a e di sika e na djuma e na nam Inti ene you may dey aya ba be di wo ha ya e ba be your travel modern theater it's only one of the activities are e pese ye ye e wo masi any ashanti region na ye nim say say eh Ghana fo it e hwe ni aya ye na ni aya pese ye ye na omo sign to aya so for more years na ye can to do more na eh ye nyina ye be hu emfaso a e be ba e di ama Ghana mai madam ba so project ye 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 sign e mo yi é muito né é signing é no é for a one year period for investor no to put together the financial documentation now on from that to you now you have to do one among with ministry of finance you have to you have to conclude so you to me you need to say we are need to do a point that what you better start say construction now I the indication is that it will take about um, two years to finish the construction because we are quite an imposing edifice. And you make it come from a doors. You see, if you see, I need come, 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 come. I said, you may just soon come. Kumasi, Edna, Ho, Emma, tourism, any culture. If you see, I hear a dear, a fatta, a even pizza, you may be no ego, Kumasi. You can say you may see um theaters, um Koforidia, um Ashanti region, Sakrade, any north. Now, if you are saying um partnerships, I did be yet to investors, I did be yet to projects. Now, whilst we were working on that, we will say even our existing cultural centers, no. Ewo in a bad state. In this idea, yen shena, yen si si, eno kani. Na efe di yen ya investment na na yedi aye sa ultra modern theaters. In this if you see yen ye ni ewo kufuria ya rehabilitated. Se si anso masi di eno. If you see aye aye, but industry players ni chere yen se. This should be what we see correct. In this my ya multi project ni kakra. Let me assign koshe. Project design in the Emma, yes, the same. Said the best to see industry. A real and no. Now, you know, I am COVID 19 year by year. I'm a, I'm a, you may be able to be a sign. And so, and to be a, the best sign, I'm a, I'm a soft project. So, we are hopeful, say, the best to be a, a, yeah, but I can say, the massive construction, the best to be a, before the end of the year. But the ultra modern theater, no steps are yet taken here. The best to be a, yeah, but that way, and also. Also was impacted by um, COVID-19. Wow, Sha, your partners are in your way of the Tiomuya Chinese. COVID-19 buyers, you have to do your borders in Nanya. It's not a map, we are exercising. That's a CIA, BB, final. And if you say, you should want a more, say, to me, yet a human business here, not just by. Um, January 2021, we will get to the ground running. But the I don't know. I I be a golden to the right hand for the most as in the convention center. Convention center is a lot of programs about international appeal for international convention center for abroad for running in ever must be Libya. You bet me a whole lot of conferences. I bet what's a conference is about memoir. The normal people never one who tells a woman, you know, 
Ubinya Ejuma Aye, or move back to the patronage of local Jews and also be boy. Your artifacts will be contained in the address in the mobile conference. Now, when you are crying, it's a poor me, 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 me,